Hey guys, welcome back to another top 10. And today we're going to be doing a King's Island top 10. So yeah. This is a amusement park in Mason, Ohio. So yeah. Here we go. For This is actually a hard one to make because I went on every single ride there. And what was hard about it is I, I liked so much rides there that I couldn't pick. So when I go to Cedar Point again and I have to make my top 10 roller coasters it's gonna be such a hard list to make but yeah these places let's just get into it uh show you guys in, in it so number 10 is delirium this is just another one it's like max here at cedar point just a circle okay you guys my um mom and then my brother were coming down so i didn't want them to bother me while i was doing a video so yeah now let's get back to the video so delirium wait messed up my camera a little bit there we go. Wait. Good. Okay. So yeah, delirium. As I was saying, it's like just a circle, just like Max here at Cedar Point. It's like a circle, and then it spins really slow, and it just goes back and forth, and it goes pretty high. So next up is going to be Backlot Stunt Coaster, and this one was another. It was a good coaster, and most of these actually. All oh, these are pretty much coasters, <laughs> but yeah. So yeah, Black Ops Sign Coaster is a pretty nice coaster. It's the best theming coaster in the park. So, what in my opinion? Number eight is Invertigo, and this is actually when I went the cart before it got stuck on the top, and I was so glad I was not that because that would have been a waste of time. And yeah, pretty much, this is another good coaster there, and it's like the one right at the entrance. So the next one is number seven is going to be the Beast. This is the wooden one. This is an awesome wooden roller coaster. It's a really long ride, really awesome roller coaster. So yeah, I just couldn't like this number six and number seven. The Beast could have been like way higher. I just couldn't. Like I said, it was a hard list to make because I've been on the Bat more than I've been on the Beast. So I don't. I've only been on the Beast once. So it's just harder to make. I haven't been at on it at night yet. So. People say it's better at night. I'm going to try it out at night. And I'll probably change my list. One, like, maybe do this a video again in the future or something. A different one. Of my different opinions when I go to Kings Island maybe in a few years or so. So, yeah. Well, actually, I'm going to go before a few years. Just, like, I'll wait a few years when they get some new rides and stuff. Now, number six is the bat. So, this one, like I was saying, the beast and the bat. Or the two that I was kind of stuck on to see what order I put them in. But I think, I don't know, number, yeah, number seven, number six are just, I don't know. But number five is Vortex. They just have so much good coasters. So number five is Vortex. This is a really good coaster. And I just really recommend this one. It's one of their, one of my favorites there. Number four is Flight of Fear. This one kind of feels like Vortex, just in the dark. So Flight of Fear is a really good one too. Number three is going to be Firehawk. On this one, you kind of, like, you go up and you're laying, like, I don't know how to explain it. You're going, you're facing down pretty much. Got to, like, show you guys how how it is. Number two is Diamondback. This is one of the really good ones. Reminds me of sort of Millennium Force from Cedar Point. And then number one is Banshee. And this one's best roller coaster. There's the newest and the best, so... That's the best ride there, I think. And yeah, so there you guys go. Your 2015 won my top favorite rides in 2015. So yeah, there you guys go. That's what I got. And I'll talk to you guys later. Before I go, make sure to put your top 10s down below of what your top 10 favorite rides are at Kings Island. And yeah, talk to you guys later. Bye.